Today's lesson is about fraction. A fraction represents a part of a whole or any number of equal parts. When spoken in everyday English, a fraction describes how many parts of a certain size there are. For example, one half, one quarter, or two quarters. Three quarters, and so on. These are the parts of a fraction. This is the numerator. It is the number of parts you have. This is the denominator. It is the number of parts the whole is broken into. This is the fraction bar. It separates the numerator and the denominator. It represents division. In this topic, we will focus on naming a quarter as one of four equal parts of an object. In short, we will discuss one quarter of a shape or a quantity. Splitting a whole thing into four equal parts gives a quarter. Let's start by finding one quarter or one fourth of a shape. We divide the circle into quarters by drawing a line in the middle like this and another one across. To show one quarter of the circle, we color it. Which of these shapes has been cut exactly in quarters? If you pick shape B, you are correct. Let's go ahead and color one quarter. Which of these shapes has been cut exactly in quarters? You're right! Shape A is the correct answer. We color one quarter of the shape. Which of these shapes has been cut exactly in quarters? If you answered shape A, you got the correct answer. Let's show one quarter by coloring it. Now, let's find a quarter of a set of objects. First step is to count how many apples are there in all. One, two, three, four. There are four apples. We then go ahead and write 4 in the first box below. Now, to find the half of 4, we need to put or share the apples equally between 4 baskets. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. To work out quarter of the number of apples on the tree, we count how many apples are there in each basket. One. There is one apple in each basket. We go ahead and write one in the box. That means quarter of four is one. 
Now, let's find quarter of a number. What number is on the island? Right, it's 8. I'm gonna go ahead and write 8 in the box. That will be the number that we will share on each boat. We'll draw circles on each boat until we reach 8, so that the number 8 will be shared equally between the four boats. Like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's time to count the circles we drew on each boat. One, two. There are two circles on each boat. I'm going to go ahead and write two in the box. Now, we found out that quarter of eight is two. Let's try this example. To complete the sentence, first, I'm gonna go ahead and count all the ladybugs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 ladybugs in all. So, I'm writing 16 here. Now, we need to find out what is 1 quarter of 16. Let's group the ladybugs into 4. Like this. Then we count how many groups do we have? One, two, three, four. There are four groups. I'm going to write four in the next box. Therefore, one quarter of 16 is four. Up next is to combine quarters to make one whole. Always remember that quarters make one whole. Going back to our example, let's combine the quarters to make one whole. First step is to count how many quarter pieces of cookies do we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 pieces. Then we write 16 quarters. Since quarters means 4 pieces, we will group the cookies into 4 like this. Then, we count how many groups do we have. One, two, three, four. There are four groups. So, we write four whole cookies. Sixteen quarters make four whole cookies.
Let's review! A fraction represents a part of a whole or any number of equal parts. When spoken in everyday English, a fraction describes how many parts of a certain size there are. For example, one half, one quarter, These are the parts of a fraction. This is the numerator. It is the number of parts you have. This is the denominator. It is the number of parts the whole is broken into. This is the fraction bar. It separates the numerator and the denominator. It represents division. Let's answer some more exercises for the sake of practice. You may pause the video if you need more time. Let's do this!
Good job! I hope you found these exercises useful. If you do, click like and subscribe to see new videos on our channel. Have an awesome day!